What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Owl. And welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, peach cobbler in the crock pot just in time for Thanksgiving. So, let's uh, get into the giving spirit and uh, give ourselves some good to eat. What do you say? That's right, baby. The crock pot peach goblin. And you're saying to yourself, like, oh, looks like you already got your peaches goblin. And you know, I do. It's because we gotta hurry up. It's, you know, it's getting close to Thanksgiving. And the thing about Thanksgiving is, you're doing a lot of moving and shaking, man. You're in that old kitchen shaking and baking, trying to get everything done. And so the stove is usually pretty taken up. You got the turkey, the uh, mashed potatoes, the macaroni, all that stuff's going over there. So this is a great dessert that you can make in your old crockery. Delicious, cheap, easy, and you can be back in there pretty quick watching playing trades automobiles. So, first thing that we need to do, go make peach cobbler. What you gotta have? Peaches, buddy. You know, millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Yeah, good stuff. So, go ahead and put your peaches down on the bottom. Don't worry about draining them, man, because we want that good juice. And you know, if you are paying attention, which I wasn't when I went to the store, who could imagine that? Make sure that you get the peaches that are in the heavy syrup. It's gonna help our cobbler. Um, cobbler. So, put your peaches down in there, undrain like you're saying. Next thing that you got to do is get you some white cake mix. That white stuff, baby, just like Frosty's ass. So, put that down in there and kind of smooth it out and pat it down until it looks like a winter wonderland, baby, because it is that festive time of year, baby. The holidays are about to snap. Last thing that you got to do, well, not the last thing, but one of the things that you got to do. We are going to get a little brown sugar, kind of like D'Angelo was talking about, and sprinkle that right on top of our dish as well. Now, last thing that you'll need, just to kind of give it some good flavor, a whole stick of butter, man. Doesn't that sound good to me? Ooh, it does, it does, it does. Now, put all that in there. You are going to be tempted to stir. I'm telling you, Sonny, you can't stir. It's kind of like, uh, you know, it's just one of the unwritten rules of uh, Thanksgiving. It's kind of like the uh, Cowboys playing a terrible game. So. You go ahead and put all that in there. I want you to put your lid on that. And we're going to let this go on high for about two hours. We'll come back and check it and see what it's talking about. So, I'm going to go in here and uh, find that game. <laughs> and I'll be back. We'll see you soon. Alright, baby. Been about three hours and the cabla is ready to go. The way you can tell it's ready to go is you get your old uh, toothpick or something. Small. Maybe even pork. And go ahead and Poke it down in the middle of that thing. Poke it and say, are you done in there, mister? Because I'm getting kind of hungry. So, once you poke your thing in there, you bring it out, you see that it's clean, it's got a good texture to the top. We're about ready to have a big old sight and a beautiful bite of this peach cobbler tonight, buddy. Ooh, it's going to be delicious. And you know, it wouldn't be peach cobbler if we didn't have some ice cream. So, let me step to the freezer, and we're about to dive right in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel like Norman Rockwell all of a sudden. Yeah. Alright baby, the time has come. The crock pot peach cutla is done and I'm having that first bite for me, myself, and I. So, a little bit of the cutla and a little dash of ice cream. <laughs> ah, yes sir. Mm, mm, mm. A wonderful treat, man. Perfect for the holidays. Got that good brown sugar. Sweet flavor, man. Delicious. That crunch, that heat, with that cool ice cream to complement it. Beautiful, man. I love it. And you know, today, I just got some butter pecan ice cream. You can get whatever you want. This one just kind of caught my eye. So, I want to thank you for lending me your eyes for a minute to watch another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking videos right here on my YouTube channel. Now, y'all have a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you get to see some loved ones. I hope you have some good grub. And I hope you enjoy it, baby. Enjoy your time. So, I love each and every one of you. And I will see you 
next time around. So, pardon me. I'm gonna get a little peach. Yeah. Mm-hmm.